Hey everybody, Harry P from the Driftless Homestead. Nice to see you show up today. If you're new to the channel, the Driftless Homestead is named the Driftless Homestead because we are in the Driftless region of Wisconsin. The Driftless region is an unglaciated region, region so there's all these big bluffs and hills. No one really knows why the, uh, the glaciers went around here, but the Driftless region is in four states, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and a little bit in Illinois. <clears throat> And one of the uh, things that we have here is we have limestone, we've got water bubbling up out of the ground, we've got phenomenal trout streams that run through here, um, and just a real fertile soil, so we've got a, a diversity of trees. Another thing that gives us a diversity is um, these hills set up microclimates, if you can imagine this, like on the north side of a big hill, it won't get much sunshine, so it'll be colder. On top of the hills, it's warmer. And then the east side of the hill gets a different amount of sunshine than the west side of the hill. Or it could be a complete south-facing hill and get, have all kinds of solar gain on there. So that's what the Driftless region is all about. So what we got going on for you today is, what I like to do on the homestead is do a little for foraging, um, mushrooms, nuts, uh, do some canning, some pickling, some, uh, we've made some uh, mead, which is uh, uh, alcohol made out of honey. So um, we just do a lot. I do some gardening and stuff like that. So we plant mushrooms as well, not just foraging for them. But today we're going to forage for something that not a lot of people forage for. I guess because it's difficult and it's easier to go to a store and buy them. But well, you really you can't buy, buy too much of these black walnuts. Um, because they just come in small packages. A lot of people don't know what the flavor of black walnut is because really people only put it in ice cream and cookies. But it's a survival food. You can eat it, it's high in calories, it's got a lot of good oils. It's also got some medicinal qualities which you'll have to go online and research walnut uh, medicinal qualities later. But I'm gonna show you on this video is how to forage for them how I pick them up, how I uh, take the husks off. It's not that hard as long as you're patient. And then I made this cage out of quarter inch mesh in two by fours. And then I throw all the nuts in there, go to the, uh, to the car wash, and I finish cleaning them up with the pressure holes in the car wash. Then I take them home because they're in that wire cage. They can dry out nice there for a couple of weeks and then um, we can crack them open and get the nut meat out of them. So the, the wood for black walnuts is very highly prized. It's always the most valuable wood in the woods in Wisconsin. Um, you can make an argument that there's other woods that are more valuable for heating. Well, I'm not gonna argue that, you know, but nobody, the, the best tree for heating in Wisconsin, nobody harvests, except for me. <laughs> There might be a few others, but uh, it, not very many people harvest that for firewood or other purposes, which we get into in uh, other videos. So stay tuned. We're going to show you the black walnut harvest. So what I'm going to use today is this is a nut, nut picker upper. It's from the Garden Weasel. So um, this is what it is, and you'll see it says large on there because black walnuts are large. You can buy this in different sizes, uh, a medium and a small, um, and you could use this to pick up shotgun shells at the gun range, and I think the small one will pick up brass as well. So I'm going to show you us using this, which makes it a lot easier to um, harvest the black walnuts because you just roll it over the top of them. And a lot of these black walnuts, the lawnmower had gone over and put them down into the grass, but this will pick them right up. So we're going to show you how we do that in just a second. Okay, so today I'm going to pick up two five-gallon buckets, and it's very simple. <coughs> you just roll over the nuts, and they come in. Now, a lot of these nuts, the hull's going to fall off as part of coming into the basket, the, the basket that's contained on here. 
and I can feel I'm walking on a bunch of nuts that are pounded into the ground, um, those nuts will sprout up, sprout up in the trees if the uh, squirrels don't get them. So as you're rolling over the nuts, you just push on them a little bit and they'll pop into the wire. And you just take your time and roll back and forth over them. It's kind of like running a paint roller. And as the uh, basket fills up here, we go over to our bucket. And it's got this handy handle on here. You just push it and it'll, all the nuts will roll out of a bigger hole that you created there. If you get nuts stuck halfway in, you might have to go through a process to get those out. So we just keep rolling along here. Like I said, I'll pick up uh, two five gallon buckets of the walnuts today and we'll take you through. I don't know if I'll do this in one video or two, but we'll take you through the cleanup process. Well, it'll be two because um, after we clean the nuts up, we're gonna have to um, let them dry for a couple of weeks. And then I'll take you into to cracking the walnuts. And then from there, we'll uh, put them into their use. Of course, we'll go through a little taste test with them um, and tell you what my thoughts are as we're trying them. And walnut trees, trust me, if you wanted to do this, you don't have to have your own walnut tree. People who have walnut trees, because very few people harvest the nuts. If you told them, if you went up to somebody's house and you seen walnuts all over the street or whatnot, and you said, hey, we'd like to pick up your walnuts, nobody, I can almost bet you, is gonna have a problem with that. I actually drove past one person's house and they picked them up and had them in bags and sitting, uh, sitting out by the, uh, out by the uh, road there with a sign on there saying free walnuts. And of course, you know the, I'm sure you know by now that the black walnut is a very hot, gives off, has a very um, prized wood. Um, probably one of the more valuable woods in the United States. Here, maybe I could show you here what the nut looks like when you crack it open. So that's what it looks like. Um, this one got chewed up by the lawnmower, but there's the nut meat in there. And you could eat that nut meat right away. It has a lot of calories. It has the oils, the walnut oil is a, a good healthy oil versus uh, the highly processed corn oil. And there's another thing full of uh, basket full of nuts. You just shake them into your bucket. It's almost fun to operate these, and I'm not trying to be like Huck Finn and get somebody else to paint my fence. But, uh, you know, because of the way the it turns on the round basket, it's kind of cool. There's another basket full. And it's pretty quick, so we could harvest these nuts for a couple of reasons, you know, for food, which um, is what I'm doing it for, but you could harvest somebody's walnuts, take them to your property, and like I showed you in a previous video, just walk through your woods and stamp them in the ground. And you will be planting walnut trees. They grow very easily. And for hardwood, they go grow pretty fast too. So you'll be doing yourself a couple of favors there by doing it. One, you would get uh, the most valuable hardwood in Wisconsin, and two, you'd be getting yourself some, you know, potential food. So, and if you need to reforest your property, it's probably uh, not too many things better than this to do it with. So, 
that's uh, basically how I pick them up. If you got kids, you can have them uh, run around with buckets and, and fill them or baskets and fill a bucket. Um, pretty easy, pretty fun. So when the nuts on this tree, there's no nuts left in the tree, but they're green. They look like big limes. Um, so they're easy to find when you see people having them. So I'll finish filling up these buckets and uh, I'll show you the next step in the process. Okay, Harry P, Driftless Homestead. Thanks for showing up today to watch us uh, pick up walnuts, hit that like button, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm sure it'll, certainly this is something that you could do as an activity with your friends or family. So thanks for showing up and have a great day.